Okay, so good morning everyone. It's currently 10 o'clock and today is um, my last me pack, which if you didn't know is also called Mephomertide. And if you want to find out what it is, I do have a video on like chemotherapies and that, so go watch that if you want to know about it. But um, yeah, it's my last one. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, we're just currently getting ready. Um, I'm now changed as well. Um, lighting went a bit funny. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head off in a minute. Um, and we're gonna visit our friend as well, who's currently in on ward 18 having treatment. It's his last treatment as well. So um, yeah, it's a very exciting day, kind of. Um, I will get the side effects later, um, but it's the last time, so I should deal with them. Um, and because it's my last one, um, I'm having a treat and getting a McDonald's. Um, so, yeah. I need to um, do my hair, like just sort it out, brush my teeth, um, because I just ate breakfast. And then make sure we've got everything ready to go, and then uh, head off. So see you in a bit. <coughs> My dad's gone for a coffee with my friend's mum, um, like the friend who's upstairs. But I've just set everything up. Um, this was here, so I tried to have a go. But it's not like talking, so I don't really know what you have to do. <laughs> um, we just had to speak to the nurse because I've been getting this like back pain for about a week. Um, and it just seems to get worse. So, um... They said I could take paracetamol, ibuprofen, ibuprofen, I can't say. Um, so I took that the other day, but it didn't really seem to do anything. Um, so the doctor is going to come see me, and they're just going to check that I can still have my me pack. It should be okay, um, because it doesn't affect it. Um, but yeah, I'm just sat here eating pineapple, because I'm kind of healthy. <laughs> and it's really nice. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I was just like, oh. She just brought me a paracetamol because I meant to have it before. And it comes in like a half a one and a full one. And I can't break them in half, so my dad does them because I can't really take them like this. Um, He's not here. <laughs> um, So. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to have to like try and take it like Hole, but like it's quite big. Challenge walk, but like it's quite big. Done it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you like this teenage, teenage bit in clinic. So this is this, like blue sofa thing, which I normally sit on. It's like loads of different chairs. It's like this is, has like a PlayStation. So it's that one. Um. There's like a table, there's a thing for my chair, my dad's, where my dad sits, and then we've got like this washer. There's all stuff around there, so there's like a warm machine, but this in there is the toilet. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the doctor just came in to see me um, about my back, and he's he did like got me to do some of these like test things. And he's saying like where I describe the pain is and what it feels like. He thinks it's like muscular. Um, so because of my new electric wheelchair has like a posture seat, whereas my manual one, which is there, does not. It just has like a flat one. Um, he thinks I've been slouching in that one, 
and then I've gone to um, the other one and because I'm in it quite a lot um, like because I go to school in it sometimes and that um, he thinks that's like um, that's like keeping my posture good and the muscles have gone really weak from my other my manual chair and this one's like strengthening them up and they're like they're not used to it um, but yeah it's not anything bad he said we don't we don't need to do a scan or anything it's nothing to worry about which is amazing <laughs> but yeah see you in a bit so i'm now hooked up it's running at 110 miles per hour and it takes 49 minutes and then with a flush it's an hour so all the way to my my central line um yeah okay so now my flush it's got seven minutes and my dad's just going to get my mcdonald's now which is impractical jokers yeah only seven minutes okay so i'm like the worst like person ever i'm not home i've been home for ages it's 10 o'clock um at night and of course it's at night because I was recording at 10 o'clock this morning. Irrelevant. Anyway. Um, like when my dad went to go get my Big Mac and like literally like a few minutes after I stopped recording. Um, the last clip you would have seen. Um, the you support coordinator work I think. <laughs> came in and she was talking to me for ages and while I was eating the McDonald's. And I didn't want to get my phone out um and start recording but we, like, i didn't want to get my phone out at all because she was talking to me and that's just not very good manners um we were just going through a lot of stuff then we went upstairs to see my friend um and i'm pretty sure we're going back on saturday to watch him ring the bell which would be good um but he's like he's fed up of being in hospital now <laughs> Um, to be honest, I was like that every time, but I thought, you know what, just got to deal with it. But he's only in like 48 more hours and then he is done. Um, I then, we, then we drove home. I haven't had a reaction off this one, so normally now I'll be, the light will be off, my curtain will be shut because I wouldn't normally have my phone here. I'll be in bed and I'll be asleep until like midnight. And then I wake up and then I'm hungry, so I'll eat something. I'll go brush my teeth and come in my room, get changed into pyjamas and then put something on my iPad and fall asleep. Whereas this one, I, like, we, just before uh, dinner, we had beef stew. We realised we had no bread and, um, and no milk for tomorrow um, and we like to have bread with stew. Even though I don't really eat bread, I will eat it with stew. But that's like it. Um... So we walked and got that. Well, I didn't walk. I went in my chair. Why am I making this so complicated? Jesus, get your point off. Um, but I just got my pyjamas out from my drawer. Um, and I'm going to get changed. And then I'm going to go watch something in my dad's room. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Because I have school tomorrow. Normally, after I have my method tide, I either have, I have a sleep while I'm having it, or I sleep in the car on the way back, and like, or I sleep uh, like in my bed at home, or downstairs. But this time I've been fine. Like I am feeling really tired, but like I just couldn't go to sleep earlier. Like, if I did, I wouldn't get up for school tomorrow, um, because it would just ruin my whole sleeping pattern. But luckily it's Friday tomorrow. Um, so it's weekend. So I can like lie in and do all loads of fun stuff. But yeah, I'm really, really sorry for not like recording or anything. Um, on the way home, we were just, we were just like listening to radio and talking as well. And I just, I just didn't get my phone out um but that's my last myth on my side and 
I'm going back on Monday because I have a doctor's appointment with Dr. Hoban. Um, he's my consultant. Um, but we're trying to get it changed because my dad has an appointment five minutes before that. And we live an hour away from Birmingham. So, well, like it's an hour, it can take an hour drive. It normally takes 40 minutes, but like it tends to take an hour most of the time. Um, but yeah. So we kind of have to try and change it to see if they can. If not, then we'll we'll try and change my dad's one. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna like put some pseudo cream on my spots and like I said, get my pajamas and go to bed basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hoped you enjoyed this video. It was a very happy video. Um, and um make sure you subscribe um and i'll be posting stuff about um me getting my prosthetic when i have my line out i'll vlog it um and i might vlog on monday i'm not 100 percent sure um but also i forgot to mention my platelets have been the issue mainly if you don't know what platelets are either google it or um ask someone who knows what they are um, they're basically in your blood, um, and they stop you from bleeding and bruising, and it's more details, so Google it. Um, but they've been sitting between 30 and 60 since, um, November last year. Um, December, January, for like, almost, f like, basically four months. Um, and today we got them and they were 92, so I think they're coming up. I really do hope they are. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video.